Julia Road Yogi, and I'm going to demonstrate a couple of ways you can wake up your shoulders, your upper back, and the area under your armpits, known as your serratus anteriors. So have a yoga block ready. Place it by your side. Well, first we're going to warm the shoulders up without using the block. We'll start in tabletop position. You place your hands under the shoulders and your knees under the hips. Your toes can be tucked or you can place them flat on the ground. As you press your palms firmly into the ground, feel the line of energy from your wrists all the way up to your shoulders. Feel your shoulder blades where they are. Are they away from each other or towards each other? To do this, start to glide your shoulder blades towards each other. And you notice your upper body getting closer towards the ground. This is known as retraction. As you press your palms into the ground, glide the shoulder blades away. This is protraction. Retraction. Protraction. Do these two movements slow as you can so you can feel what's happening with the muscles in your upper back, your shoulders, and your upper arms. A little bit of shaking is okay. It means your muscles are working and they're being awakened. The muscle that's getting worked, namely right here, they're called your rhomboids. To add the yoga block into this practice, you can get into a kneeling position. Take the yoga blocks, place it between your palms. Reach your arms in front of you. Press the palms firmly into the block and feel that similar kind of energy starting from your wrist, hands, and traveling all the way up to your shoulders and upper back. So we can repeat the protraction and retraction in this kneeling position. Retraction, protraction. It may not look like much is happening, but you can certainly feel it inside your tissues. I feel a little warming up. You can even do this lying on your back. So carefully get into supine position. Your legs can be long, or if it feels better for you today, you can bend your knees and plant your feet down on the ground. Take that same yoga block, reach your arms up to the sky so you can look at the ceiling. Press the palms into the sides of the yoga block and feel where your shoulder blades are making contact with the ground. Can you relax them a little bit more? I feel more contact with the ground. From here, protract, reach your fingertips while pressing into the yoga block, reaching up towards the ceiling and retract. Feel almost a complete contact with your shoulder blades on the ground and slowly reach fingertips up to the ceiling again and retract. Again, try to go as slow as you can so you can notice the sensations, notice any nuances. Does one side feel stronger than the other? Are they about the same? And from here, pause, place the yoga block by your side. You can roll over to your side and come up to a seat. How this is preparation for down dog 
is that you are pressing your palms into the ground to elongate your spine and reach your hips toward the sky. I'll show you what I mean. So come on to your hands and knees. Okay. Tuck your toes. Come up to downward facing dog. You can keep your knees bent as much as you'd like and relax your head. But feel the contact your palms are making with the ground, pressing every single fingertip. You feel all your knuckles making contact with the ground. So where does protraction and retraction come in? You press your palms, draw your shoulder blades up and away from each other. Or if you draw them towards each other, it may not look the same, but it is a similar motion. If you press your palms firmly, protract, reach, reach, reach. You can feel the elongation from your palms all the way up to your shoulders, up your spine, and up to your hips. When you're ready to come out of down dog, you can come onto your knees. And say hi to Bolia Kitty. Alternatively, if you wanted to add some more push ups into your down dog, you can come back into down dog. Bend your knees as much as you'd like. Relax your head. And you can do some slight push ups. Allow your elbows to bend toward the sides. When you're ready, come onto your knees. And get back to kneeling position or the most comfortable seating position for you today. So that was a demonstration on waking up your shoulders, upper back, and the area under your armpits with and without yoga blocks. Hope that was helpful for you. See you guys next time. Bye.